Welcome everybody to Straight Shooter Wrestling Podcast. Today we are doing another episode of the draft, except today we are doing a draft of the best hair in professional wrestling, then, now, and forever. And I'm going to be the GM that goes with the number one overall pick. And to me, this is an easy one. To me, this is, it isn't even real hair. I am taking Kurt Angle's toupee after his head was shaved by edge i am taking his toupee that was covered by like the 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 greco wrestling style helmet that thing is hideous and beautiful at the same time i never want to see it again yet i want to see it every day that's 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 saying something that is a hairstyle that brings out and elicits true raw emotion i am going with kurt angles toupee Sorry, buddy. You have dropped the ball on the first round draft pick on this. There is only one hairdo in professional wrestling that should ever be picked first, and that is the pompadour that is Donald Trump. Donald Trump's Ooh. hairdo is by far the greatest hair to ever walk into a professional wrestling ring. See you later, toupee for Kurt Angle. Acknowledge the dawn. Damn, that's actually, that's a strong pick. That is a strong pick. Oh, I straight out of New York too. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have, I have a lot of makeup here. I have a lot of makeup to do. Um, With my number two overall pick, I am going to take Booker T and his dreadlocks. Those things flying everywhere with the spin -a rooney The fact that his hair is basically a prop to his dance. Come on, it doesn't get more more interactive than a hair that is part of the actual spin -a rooney dance. I'm taking Booker T's hair. I think I might have been able to grab it at number three, perhaps number four, but I didn't want to take a chance. So I'm jumping up a couple of spots and taking Booker T's hair at number two. Santi, honestly, again, I think you've left another opening for me because the Booker T you could have gotten at three or four. I do see it on the list. It's a very good pick, but it's a bit early in the draft for that because Santi at number two for me. I am going with Latino Heat's mullet during the China phase with Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> that greasy, greasy, slick back Latino Muppet or uh, Mohawk, sorry. <laughs> Latino Muppet? <laughs> mullet that is eddie guerrero it comes in at number two it could have been in the number one spot nothing gets better than eddie guerrero's mullet oh man i think i'm actually getting dusted here i'm getting absolutely dusted Ugh. okay all right your boy is gonna have to come up with one and i think i've got a good one i think i've got one that maybe wasn't on your board but once you hear it you'll realize holy shit that might be the pick of the century i'm taking rick flair i'm not done Ooh. After he's been busted open, I am taking busted open Ric Flair. His hair, it's a different hairstyle altogether. It's a different hairstyle altogether, and all it takes is a little bit of blood. I am taking busted open Ric Flair as my number three overall pick. I, I think it's criminal that it dropped this low. Honestly, I think it could have been in the argument for one or two. I am taking Ric Flair, Ric Flair's Rick hair. Flair's Wow, that's really hard to say. Ric Flair's hair after he's been busted open. Hey, listen, Santi, really good pick. But I think I have dug a little deeper into the archives for best hair. And I still think I got you beat on bloodied up Ric Flair. If we're talking about hair. We got to talk about the barber with one of the best perms in pro wrestling. Yeah. It is Brutus, the barber beefcakes, full fledged mullet perm. Listen, Ric Flair can bleed all day and his hair can go different ways and change four different colors. But if you need a perfect silhouette of what a wrestler's hair should be, it is Brutus, the barber beefcake in the barbershop. That's actually a really good pick. I mean, his entire profession is to cut hair. Uh, so mm -hmm. it, it, it makes sense. Um, dang, dude, I actually think that your team is absolutely dusting mine right now. I'm actually kind of concerned that I, that I don't think that I'm going to be able to, to, to make a comeback here. Now, I want you to, to hear me out on this one because I, I almost want to believe that it will, that it should be an undrafted free agent. Okay. But I'm going to take the beautiful flow 
of late 2000s edge. I'm not talking greasy edge. I'm not mm. talking short hair edge. I'm not talking gray beard edge. I'm talking like hockey bro straight out of Canada, beautiful blonde flow edge. Like I am talking live sex celebration edge. All right. That hair in in real life is beautiful. All right. Every male would die to have luscious golden locks like Edge had from 2006 to 2010. I'm going to take Edge. W who do you got next? Well, Santi, I'm just going to skunk you with this one. I think you're just going to say I quit uh, after this one. Santi, I am going with none other than our boy from the Jersey Shore, DJ Pauly D. Oh, come on. His lovely, lovely stacked gel hair that doesn't move from SummerSlam. My dude, I am sorry. That is game, set, and match with a number five pick that I don't even think I need to do, but I'm going to end it with that one for now. I'm just realizing that Edge was my, my number five, right? No, Edge was number. Uh, no, that was your number four. That was, was my number four. four. That yes. was your number you four. Have one, you have one more chance to make it up, make up for it. But I think I'm I'm dusting you. I'm going to steal the show here. I'm going to oh, steal the show. I am taking Paul Heyman's disgusting ponytail all the way up until like 2005. I am talking from ECW, WCW days all the way up until the time that he was back at ECW one night stand. Paul Heyman's dirty, disgusting rat tail is up there in terms of one of the greatest wrestling hairdos of all time. You know what, Santi? I'll, I'll give you that one. That's a really good pick. That's it. I think for your list, it should have been a little bit higher. It's one of those ones that it's just synonymous with Paul E. Paul E. Dangerously, Paul Heyman, whichever version of Paul Heyman. He's always had that weird little comb over or pull back ponytail with the bald head. But Santi... I'm sorry, buddy. It's game. It's set. It's match. And I'm even throwing this one out there as just, you know, I'll throw it into my list because nobody thought I would pick it. We're going with very recently John Cena's bald spot. That is just not aging well with him, but it's still John Cena. And apparently he can pull anything off. So we're going with John Cena's bald spot. I could have gone five for five and picked ravishing Rick Rude or something like that. But I'm just going to go with John Cena's bald spot. I think it's, it's heinous that you're using this video as an opportunity to make fun of John Cena. But folks, let us know in the comments who went undrafted, who should have been part of these picks, who would be in your top five wrestling hairdos. Let us know in the comments if you're watching this video. Thank you very much for your time. Make sure to leave it a like, a comment, subscribe. Please support us over on Locals if you want more premium content. Uh, it's You can always go there for free as well, although we also have some uh, paid options to give you some better additional premium content. Like I said, thank you very much for watching this episode of Straight Shooter Wrestling Podcast. Podcast and take care. Cheers.